Notion, thank you. It's taken a long time. I'm not gonna complain as I'm complaining. There has been multiple iterations of a Slack integration. First, we started with something where literally you'd get notifications for any updates on a page. Then we got this really nice update where I could do backslash Notion and actually add tasks and whatnot by doing slash notion create and I could like add ideas for tasks and whatnot. So this was an upgrade. And then along with all the other updates that notions managed to do with things like buttons, we finally have something that is reasonable for push notifications from a notion database to Slack. So if you recall this integration where you could add the connection to Slack over here, it's not a thing anymore. It would just literally just show every update. Now what we can do is if we go to the three dots, we can go to Slack notifications. So in my workspace, I've already added in connections. I already have Slack here. And there's also another one here. So there's a link preview and the Slack Notion connected app. And once it's set up, I can go to the three dots, go to Slack notifications. And then if we press this right here, essentially this has a very similar system to what we were seeing with notion buttons where we can add triggers and then it will do something so for example in this in the pages in the content calendar i have workflows where even for example this video that you're seeing recorded right now if i press add trigger and select specifically the status here and i pick editing and then done then anytime there'd be a video or any other piece of content on my content calendar i could send a slack notification and i already have my account updated and integrated with Slack. So this can be really useful for my own internal marketing team, or I have some external items here as well. What I can do is in this tasks to do section, I can pick this hashtag and then do a create. And essentially what this is gonna do is any time that I change, for example, this video. And as you recall from that integration, if I press editing, and as you can see right here in about a minute, I did have to wait a second for this. It showcased that this status for this page went from creating to editing. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's integrated with Notion, right? So I click on this guy and it would bring me to the page in Notion. Now, I would recommend that you use the always open an app function. I don't have it for personal reasons. But with that, you'd automatically be able to essentially go back to the page that changed in Notion. Now, something to point out about these notifications is that if you want, you can obviously change these to be unique. So this one's gonna be named differently by me putting content ready to edit, then press save. And then on top of that, I, I do wanna point out that for these triggers, uh, you, you're not only able to pick, like for example, if I did just editing, I could also add another trigger right here. And this trigger could be for this YouTube item. Now, what you'd think is this would be maybe only for YouTube videos. It's like a and functionality. Unfortunately, as you read here, it says when any of these occur. So it is not one of those situations where you can be like, okay, when status is editing and it's a YouTube video, then it will send the Slack notification. That is not the case. It's just gonna do it regardless. I'm hoping that we get some kind of functionality with that though, because that would be a step up from this baseline of integration. This is definitely a step up from what we had before. And it's nice that you not only can send it to channels that are internal, external, you also can have this notification sent to your DMs. Uh, this is nice for me as you know, I am admin and for some reason I have that on all my name stuff because, you know, I don't know, big business guy or something. I think I'm cool. But you can also add multiple Slack accounts on here. And overall, this kind of shows something that I'm really excited for, which is Notion's improvements overall are just getting better when it comes to triggers and automation. So this is going to help make it so that I'm able to add some notifications to different parts of my workflow without me needing to go into Zapier, which is a level up. And buttons are gonna be awesome when they eventually get recurring. And all of these different things seem to be showcasing Notion's goal to have more automation built into their platform. As much as I like to give Notion flack because I think critique is the best way to improve a product, this is pretty good. Like we got something here that allows you to have an application that while it may not be like 12 out of 10 perfect, it at least gives you something that works out of the box and then now they're layering on the automation. I find it to be less buggy than other platforms. I'm curious what you guys think. Please let us know in the comment section down below and let me know about what you think about this video and how to improve your productivity even more and how wonderful that tangent was. Probably the best tangent you've ever seen.